Hello everybody and welcome to Attica High School, the site of tonight's Section 5 Boys Basketball Matchup. Should be a good one. Two of the top teams in the Genesee Region League squaring off for a rematch of an early season matchup won by Byron Burgeon. Attica playing host to the Bees here tonight. BB comes into this game at 11-3. Attica at 11-2. Something's got to give. One of these teams will walk away a winner. Here tonight on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Before we get too deep into tonight's broadcast, we'd like to first thank our sponsors, beginning with Genesee Community College. Are you looking to kickstart your career in health and physical education? Look no further than GCC. Whether you dream of careers in teaching, coaching, personal training, or sports management, GCC has the programs to prepare you for jobs that are in high demand. Take advantage of a high-quality curriculum, excellent faculty, experiential learning, and great facilities. Join them at GCC and be the game changer you've always wanted to be. To learn more, visit www.genesee.edu slash phys ed. Also, Robley Plumbing and Heating. One call does it all when you call Robley. Is your furnace not working? Do you need your hot water tank replaced? Would you like to have a new toilet installed? Call Robley. They'll answer and get you all fixed up in no time. Call 585-470-8542 as Robley has been servicing the Glow region for over 75 years. Robley specializes in all things plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, including well systems, boilers, furnaces, hot water tanks, and more. Also, Vanquis Enterprises LLC is a fully insured company that offers free estimates for every job. At Vanglis, they specialize in septic system installation and repairs, along with water line installation. Check them out on Facebook or call them at 585-471-4240. Also, Crazy Cheap Cars, the ultimate in price and selection. Find your next vehicle at crazycheapcars.com. They carry the largest selection of over 150 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs of any dealer in the Genesee region. And they also need your trade-in, top dollar, will be paid for your trade, so give them a call at 585-948-8000, or better yet, we'll see you right here. Also, Zoom Total Fitness, fitness for all levels. Personal training, cross training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, and yoga. 24-7 access with only $35 per month in membership fees. New equipment in a super clean facility is available. Also, training, classes, infrared sauna, and more. 585-861-8995, that's Zoom Total Fitness. Also, Harding's Plumbing, a family-owned and operated company that is EPA certified and fully insured, and they offer fair pricing for excellent workmanship. They also stand behind their work and business name with 24-hour emergency service and 12 technicians. Harding has the ability to get the workload done in a timely fashion. Call them now at 585-237-5561. Also, Summit Family Dental Care. Their dentists and staff are committed to giving you the best dental experience that Warsaw has to offer. Like any trusting relationship, their care begins with getting to know each other, and their highest priority is providing the quality dental services you deserve in a comfortable, convenient atmosphere. Call their Warsaw location at 585-786-3676 or visit them online at summitfamilydentalcare.com. Also, Western New York Concrete has provided concrete delivery services in Batavia and the surrounding area for over 87 years. At Western New York Concrete, they're ready to provide you with the concrete you need so that you can have results you can depend on. If you'd like to get involved with one of our live streams here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network, you can contact Bridget or Jamie, our mid media and digital consultants at the Batavia Daily and Livingston County News. Also, Happy New Year, New Year, New You. Start your new year outright. Include the Daily News as part of your New Year's resolutions. Exercise your brain as well as your body. Start including the Daily News as part of your workout routine. You'll save with Print Easy Pay. Call 585-343-8000 for offers. In-county residents only. Print offers will renew at full price. Offers valid through 131 2024 so once again, my name is Alex Brasky here with you on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Got a good one on tap for you tonight as Byron Burgeon is in town to take on the host, Attica Blue Devils. Byron Burgeon comes into this game at 11-3, Attica at 11-2. Both of these teams looking to remain atop the Genesee Region League standings. 
It's been a battle. Several quality teams throughout the league. It's really been a race to the finish for a lot of these squads. And Attica fell at the hands of Byron Burgeon earlier this season. So the Blue Devils looking for revenge here this evening. Byron Burgeon won that game by a final score of 59 to 56. That was also brought to you on our air here on the BDN Sports Network. That game took place at BB High School. So Attica getting the home court advantage here this evening and hoping to make the most out of it as they take on Braden Shambry and the Byron Burgeon Bees. Shambry, one of the premier big men in all of Section 5 this season. Done a nice job leading this Bees bunch, which is also bolstered by a number of quality jump shooters, beginning with Colin Martin, also Brody Bobby. They're both taking turns, knocking down shots from the outside this season. For Attica, it's really a three headed monster. Jack Janes, Cole Harding, and Clayton Bizon, all well over six foot, and pack a punch inside, while also capable of knocking down shots from the perimeter, particularly Harding and Janes in that respect. Chambry can also hit from three point range, so it certainly should be an interesting ball game as Chambry and the Bees go up against James Bizon Harding and the Blue Devils here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the opening tip, but first starting lineups, and then we'll get underway. So we'll be right back. All right, getting set for tip-off here. Attica and Byron Burgeon here at Attica High School. Alex Brasky with you on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. As I said before, this is a rematch from a December 7th matchup, won by the Bees. Byron Burgeon took their first lead of the game with a minute left as Brody Bobby went for Eight points, all of which came from the free throw line in the final frame. And that helped the Bees solidify the win. Chambry led the way 
in the scoring department. 21 points, 13 rebounds for Byron Burgeon in that victory. Bobby chipped in a total of 13 points. So added five throughout the remainder of the game. Eight of those came during the fourth quarter from the free throw line. Four rebounds for Bobby in that matchup. It was Jack Jaynes and Carter Gorski setting the table for Attica in that matchup as Cole Harding was still working his way back from an early season leg injury and Landon Thomas, another contributor for Attica, had yet to suit up. So some youngsters being introduced here at Attica High School. Attica Youth Program, a mainstay here. Good to see these youngsters getting their due here this evening. It's been five straight wins for Attica following a loss to Batavia in the finals of the Batavia Lions Club tournament. The Blue Devils enter this game red hot, and Byron Burgeon really has had a good stretch as well. Interrupted with a loss at the hands of Notre Dame, four point defeat. And before that, a loss at the hands of Wheatland Chi Lies. So one and two over the last three, but before that, Byron Burgeon had been on a tear, winning. Seven straight games. Make that. Oh, excuse me. Make that about eight or nine in a row as I glance at the schedule. So Byron Burgeon began the season hot. They've stumbled a bit as of late, while Attica has really turned it up after, after they've gotten a few of their players back from injury. And the youngster is now introduced, now awaiting the starting lineups and the national anthem. And we'll be set to go here from Attica. Okay, no anthem pledge tonight. Attica with the rare dueling flags here in the gymnasium. Caused a bit of confusion at first. Byron Burgeon, uncertain of which way to turn, chose the one at the end line. And now the starters being introduced for the Bees. So starting for Byron Burgeon, Noah Clare, Colin Martin, Braden Chambry, Brody Bobby, and Brendan Pym, starters for Attica, will be Jack James, Cole Harden, Clayton Bizon, Carter Gorski, and Ethan Meyer. Head coach for Attica, Rob Crowley. Third on the all-time scoring list here at Attica, 969 career points. Wow. Roxanne Noeth, head coach for the Bees. Fine player in her own right.
Not sure the Lights Off introduction is the same without the music here at Attica, but still trying to bring the vibes. Are the Blue Devils? Can't fault them for that. Perhaps some audio issue going on here this evening as we recited the pledge and now musicless intros. But we are just about underway. Eight minutes on the clock. Byron Burgeon and Attica ready to square off. Here we go, 11 and three, 11 and two. One team will walk away victorious. On the Tavia Daily News Sports Network, the Genesee Community College scoreboard, just now being put to use as Brody Bobby launches a three, no good, rebound goes to Bizon and the Blue Devils. Here comes Attica quickly the other way, Harding leading the charge, now into the hands of Gorski, he throws it underneath to Bizon, saves it from going out of bounds, but that's gonna be an over and back call on Attica. It goes back to the Bees here. Sloppy start, it's a turnover. Ends that possession. Back into the hands of Byron Burgeon. It's really gonna be interesting over the next couple of weeks to see how the sectional seating works itself out in several small school classifications. A lot of competition expected over the coming weeks and really into a month's time. As Attica's classification, one of the most competitive in section five. Turnaround jumper from Colin Martin, no good, but the Bees keep the possession alive. Another offensive rebound. However, offensive foul called underneath. Shambry's first personal. As I was saying, Attica, members of Class B2 this season. It's really a titanic top five. At the bottom is Marcus Whitman. They've been mighty impressive. Two dominant wins over Batavia this season. One by, I believe, nearly 40 points. The other by near 20. Leroy with Merritt Holly Jr. Then you have this solid Attica squad as Gorski shot no good over the backboard and out of bounds. And then Candace Steele Greenwood, a talented top five and a little bit of depth off the bench as well. You saw them on our air against Dansville earlier this season. And then of course, Avon, perennial championship contender sparked by a trio of guards, Trevor Stroud, Josh Harder, and Michael Rowland. Inside look, Byron Bergen on the board first. It's a two nothing B's lead. So it's, Certainly going to be a long trek to the title for whoever finds themselves on top of Class B2 at season's end. A lot of talent in that classification. Slow start offensively for these two squads as another turnover, this one committed by the Bees, goes back to Attica as the Blue Devils trail two to nothing. Harding calling for it inside, didn't get it. Bizon looking for the back door with Janes, but it was well defended. Now a travel called on Gorski from the wing. And a timeout called by Coach Crawley and Attica. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, beginning with our scoreboard sponsor, Genesee Community College. Also, Robley Plumbing and Heating, Vongolis Enterprises, LLC. CrazyCheapCars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, and Western New York Concrete. 
like to get involved with one of our live streams here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network, contact Bridget or Jamie, our media and digital consultants at the Batavia Daily and Livingston County News. So back to action here between Byron Burgeon and Attica. Timeout called by the Blue Devils as they remain scoreless two and a half minutes into this first quarter. Coach Crowley did not like, like what he's seen from his squad thus far and called them to a, the bench for a quick break. That one knocked out of bounds off the bees. It goes back to Attica. And while Byron Virgin holds the early advantage, they have not been impressive on the offensive end by any means. Another turnover. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Claire off the bounce, pulls up, no good. Shambry collects the rebound, can't get the put back. Lid on the basket for both sides. Just under five minutes remaining here as I reset our clock on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Explore careers in health and physical education. Finally, Attica on the board as it's Cole Harding, turnaround jumper. We're all square at two apiece. Chambry to Pim up top. Guarded closely by Harding. Martin lets it go. Short. He's on on the rebound. Attica pushing the pace. Reverse layup from Meyer. No good, but James was there to collect the rebound and convert on the putback. Attica's first lead of the game nearing the midpoint here in the first quarter. Low scoring affair. Plenty of turnovers for both sides thus far. Martin pulls up from the elbow. Foul committed on the jump shot by Meyer. First free throw from Martin is good. Cuts it down to a one point deficit. Four to four with four minutes remaining here between Attica and Byron Bergen. Harding from the corner, no good. Rebound goes to Bobby. Bobby in the lane, forces it up, no good. Attica on the rebound. And a turnover. Pim, nice ball fake to lift a couple of defenders off their feet. Bobby had it rejected by Janes in the corner, but got it back and a nice pass to Chambry inside. Nice job sticking with it there. As the Bees were able to convert. Regain a two-point advantage. Harding lobs it into Bizon. He tries to spin through a couple of defenders, but Claire takes the charge. Nice job selling out underneath. Bizon never saw him, spun around, ran him over. Offensive foul is the call. Landon Thomas checks in for Carter Gorski. Here's Martin from the wing, guarded closely by Meyer. Gets it away to Pim. Now into the hands of Bobby. Stops, pops from the block, no good. Bizon on the board. And a foul called on Claire on the rebound. Forty-five remaining in this first quarter. Both offenses looking for a spark. Oh, 
Bizon hands it off to Janes. He'll try the three from the wing, and he knocks it down. Attica back out in front. Finally, a shot falls. No one lobbed in to Shambri at the high post. Nothing doing. He's forced outlet. Bobby almost caught Jack Janes over pursuing. Instead, he got it to Pim, who drives it to the basket for two. Two minutes remaining here in the first. Back and forth we go. One point lead for the Bees. Janes over to Thomas. Tried to lob it to Harding. Looked like he had the layup instead. Looked to get it to his teammate. Knocked out of bounds by the Bees and Meyer will take it underneath for Attica. Thomas fading away, no good. And Pim lets that one go out of bounds. Goes back to BB. Chambry at the elbow. Closed off by Bizon. Bobby with it now. Guarded by Janes over to Pim on the wing. Inside to Chambry. Turnaround jumper and it's good. Over the top of Bizon. Beautiful move there from Chambry and he gets the finish. Final minute here in the first. Meyer tried to force it inside to Bizon and Pim the solid defensive play. Here come the Bees in transition. Chambry inside. Bizon with the rejection from behind. Chambry thought he was foul. Harding off the dribble. Up and under. No good. Collects his own rebound. And the putback. One point deficit for Attica. Final half minute here in the first. Chambry to Bobby from the corner. No good, missed everything. Harding in transition. Fading away, knocking it down. Giving Attica the lead. Solid close to this first quarter for both teams. Defensive battle, but each offense starting to find its footing. 10 seconds remaining in the frame. Pim headed to the line for two shots. Braden Allen and Gorski awaiting the substitution at the table here. Oh, it's gonna be a foul on the floor. Interesting. Decision there. Not much argument from BB as they do take it out underneath. Now some pushing and shoving going on. Quite the sequence. This one lobbed in to Bobby. Claire into the corner for Martin. Final five seconds off the mark. Harding on the rebound. He'll have to launch it up. Instead, he bounces it ahead to Thomas, and he doesn't get the shot up. We head to the second quarter. It's a one-point lead for Attica. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, beginning with our scoreboard sponsor, Genesee Community College. Are you looking to explore careers in health and physical education? Look no further than GCC. Whether you dream of careers in teaching, coaching, personal training, or sports management, GCC is the programs to prepare you for jobs that are in high demand. Also, Robley Plumbing and Heating. One call does it all when you call Robley. Is your furnace not working? Do you need your hot water tank replaced? Would you like to have a new toilet installed? Call Robley, they'll answer and get you all fixed up in no time. Also, Vinglas Enterprises, LLC, a fully insured company that offers free estimates for every job. 
At Vonglis, they specialize in septic system installation and repairs along with waterline installation. Check them out on Facebook or call them at 585-471-4240. Also, Crazy Cheap Cars, the ultimate in price and selection. Find your next vehicle at crazycheapcars.com. Also, Zoom Total Fitness, open 24 hours, 7 days a week. New equipment and a super clean facility. Available now. Harding's Plumbing, an EPA certified company that is fully insured. They have the ability to get the workload done in a timely fashion. Call them now, 237-5561. Also, Summit Family Dental Care, two offices in Warsaw and Geneseo. That's summitfamilydentalcare.com. And finally, Western New York Concrete, quality ready mixed concrete, available now. So, second quarter underway. Attica in the lead by one after a back and forth first. Harding from the corner along the baseline into the lane for Gorski. And now it's Harding along the baseline. Back to Gorski and he finishes. Solid two-man game there between Gorski and Harding. Able to work the open look underneath. Claire the floater, no good. That one knocked around and out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the bees. This one bounced into Shambry. Nice drop step, but Attica was there to close him off. Allen in there with a the solid defensive play. Martin from the corner, no good. Janes tried to corral the rebound, but it was tipped away by the Bees. Shambry chased it down. Now into the corner for Pim, looking for Shambry inside. Lobs it over Janes. Shambry couldn't get the finish. Martin there for the putback, however. Gorski off the bounce. No good, Claire on the rebound. Three ball, no good. Allen collects the rebound. Landon Thomas coast to coast. Three ball from Bobby, no good. He's been cold in the early going. Other way, Allen in transition, no good on the layup. Allen tried to take that away near midcourt, knocked it out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Bees. Good hustle shown by both sides, and now a timeout called by Byron Bergen. We'll take a quick break on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. This timeout brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating, LLC. One call does it all with Robley. 585-470-8542. Furnace not working. Do you need to have a hot water tank replaced? Do you need to have a new toilet installed? Robley can really do it all for you. So back to action here in the second quarter. Three-point lead for Attica. On the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Inside for... Shambry, three ball from Pim, no good. Air ball, Bobby collects the rebound. He's fouled on the putback attempt. Bobby makes the first. One for two for Brody Bobby. Cole Harding on the rebound for Attica. 
inside to Bizon, and he gets the finish. Solid possession there for the Blue Devils, pushing the pace, finding Bizon inside. Great vision from Harding. He can really run the floor for a big man. Chambry, one-handed floater, can't get the roll. Harding on the rebound. Attica doing a great job putting a body on Chambry and keeping him away from the basket. Hasn't had many looks inside 10 feet. Chains to Harding, top of the key. Lobbed in to Bizon, and another strong finish for the Attica forward. Six point lead for the Blue Devils, their largest of the evening. Bobby, he'll try the three. No good, too long. Rebound goes to the Bees. Another look for Bobby on the reverse layup, and this is that one. Here comes Harding leading the charge the other way, and Gorski will lay it in. Quite the run being put on by the Blue Devils now, up to an eight point lead. Nearing the midpoint here in the second quarter, 21 to 13 on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Explore careers in health and physical education. Learn more at genesee.edu slash phys ed. Chambry off the dribble. Bizon shuts him down. Martin for three. No good. Bees have been ice cold from the perimeter thus far. James swarmed by Martin and Chambry. And Martin's able to take it away. Jump ball. And it goes to the Bees. Meyer checking back in for Attica. Thomas will take a break. Chambry rejected by Bizon. And a push underneath. After the brief delay, we will resume play here. Inbound to Pim, and now it's Martin setting things up up top for the Bees. First time checking into the game for Byron Burgeon. Cody Carlson, turnover by the Bees. Here comes Attica. Harding for three, no good. Jane's inside, turn around with the left hand, couldn't get it to go. Chambry on the board. Eight point ball game, Byron Burgeon has gone ice cold here in the second quarter. Extended scoring drought has allowed Attica to open an eight point advantage. Bobby for three, no good. Jane's tips it out, Gorski on the rebound. Transition, layup no good. Carlson on the board for BB. the dribble, closed off on the baseline, diving after it, and it's a turnover. Hey. 
That one bounced into Allen. Now Harding has it up top. Inside to Allen, working the pivot, rejected by Carlson. Allen looking for a foul. To no avail. Carlson to Bobby. Had it taken away by Gorski. Sorry if you've noticed our tripod a little rough today. We gotta get some oil on it or something. It's moving a little bit weird throughout the game, but do our best to sure that up as we go. 125 remaining here is the post entry to Harding converted. It's a 10 point Attica lead. It's been all Blue Devils since a slow start for both sides. And another turnover. <laughs> Final minute here in the first half. Attica looking to put their foot on the gas pedal. Harding calling for it inside, doesn't get it. Opposite side for Thomas, spinning away from Carlson, no good. Janes came flying in, and it knocked out of his hands. It's gonna stay with the Blue Devils. Inbound goes to Janes, now it's Harding up top. Closed off, and a turnover. Shambri nearly took it away. Now it's gonna go into the backcourt. And Attica able to come up with a loose ball. Tipped away. Out of bounds off Martin, right into the face of a fan in the front row. I'm sure he'll feel that one tomorrow. Final half minute, five seconds separating the game clock and the shot clock. Janes, turnaround jumper, no good. Carlson on the rebound. Shot clock is now off for the Bees. 10 seconds remaining. Bobby into the corner for Pim. Step back. Nice defense by Gorski. Carlson to Martin, three ball at the buzzer, no good. We head to halftime, 10 point. Attica lead here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. We'll be back with the second half of action after a short break.
everybody and welcome back. Attica leading Byron Burgeon by 10 at the break here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. My name is Alex Braski with you. It's been an ice cold start to this game for the Byron Burgeon offense. Struggling from the perimeter and also struggling to get the ball inside to forward Braden Shambry. We are set to begin the second half of play. The Genesee Community College scoreboard reads 23 to 13 in favor of the Blue Devils. GCC, explore careers in health and physical education. Learn more at www.genesee.edu. So Attica opens this second half with possession and the double digit advantage inside. Clayton Bizon, no good, but it's tipped in by Carter Gorski. Noah Claire rejected by Gorski, who's now doing it on both ends before he double dribbled. And that's gonna be a turnover. It will go back to the Bees here after the rejection from Gorski. Bobby bounces it in to Shambry. And a foul called underneath. Inside and Brendan Pym finishes. Cuts it back down to a 10 point lead for Attica. Harding, inside, Attica response. Back up to a 12 point lead for the Blue Devils. It's been their largest lead of the game. Him at the high post, guarded closely by Bizon, inside. No good, but he draws the foul. Now 6.39. Remaining here in the third. Once again, this game brought to you by Vonglas Enterprises, LLC. No job too big or too small. Water line, sewer line, septic systems, drainage, and more. Pim knocks down the first free throw. One of two from the line. Here comes Attica now. Out of bounds. Off the Blue Devils, and it goes to the Bees. Braden Allen checking back into the game for Attica now. Off the bounce, Martin gets it to Pim on the wing. Up top to Bobby now. Over to Martin, looking for Shambry. Bounce it off the leg of Meyer. It's a kickball. And that will be a shot clock reset to 20. The dribble pulls up from the free throw line, no good. Harding on the rebound. Gorski for three, no good. Off the back iron, Shambry on the rebound. Byron Burgeon needs to find a way to get Shambry more involved into this game. That's not gonna help. Gorski elevates at the rim. It's a 13 point Attica advantage. Pim working against Allen underneath, tried the hook, no good. 
Gets it back, tipped around, now into the hands of Harden. Bees take it away and throw it away. And a timeout called by Coach Noeff. We'd also like to thank Crazy Cheap Cars, the ultimate in price and selection, right here in the Genesee region. Over 150 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs on the lot. They also need your trade-in at Crazy Cheap Cars. It's crazycheapcars.com. Also, zoomtotalfitness.com. Open 24 hours, seven days a week. $35 per month in membership fees. You can learn more at zoomtotalfitness.com. Super clean gym. Premier facilities. That is Zoom Total Fitness. Also, Harding Plumbing, 237-5561. Shane Harding offering plumbing, heating, and air conditioning services for residential, commercial, and agricultural customers. Also, Summit Family Dental Care. Their dentists and staff committed to giving you the best dental experience that Warsaw has to offer. Like any trusting relationship, their care begins with getting to know each other. And lastly, Western New York Concrete, quality, ready-mixed concrete, poured walls, floors, foundations, driveways, insulated concrete forms, 60 638 East Main Street in Batavia. You can contact them at 343-6850. So back to action here in the third quarter. As Attica has possession ahead by 13. Jack James for three from the corner. Attica continuing to pour it on. It's up to a 16 point lead. This one lobbed into Shambry. He's rejected. At the rim by Janes, collects his own rebound and puts it back up and in. Nice job by BB finding a way to get it to their big man. He's been really their only source of offense here this evening. Harding spinning and fading away, no good. Pim collects the rebound. Nearing the midpoint here in the third. BB looking to go quickly. Martin at the rim, no good. A rejection inside. Meyer and Harding in there on the defensive play. Genesee Community College scoreboard reads a 14-point Attica lead as that jumper from Harding, no good. Bobby off the dribble. Forces it up. Shambry inside in the finish. Four quick ones for Shambry. Cuts it back down to a 12-point deficit. Allen had that one tipped away by Pim. And a foul in transition. BB, bit of a run here, just a chance to cut it to 10 with a couple of free throws. First free throw, no good. Bizon and Thomas checking back in. Meyer. And Allen check out for the Blue Devils. Pim 0 for 2 from the line. Critical misses there for Byron Burgeon. So it remains a 12 point game. Harding to Gorski on the wing, puts it on the floor. No good on the floater. Ball tipped around into the hands of Bobby. Goes back to Byron Burgeon. Chambry against Bizon and Harding. Splits the defenders, gets his own rebound. Another rebound, another put back attempt, and another miss. Good defense there from Attica. Harding spinning through the lane, a jump ball created by Bobby. Quick whistle there, and it's gonna go back to the Bees. And a timeout called by, I believe, Byron Burgeon. A 
We'll take a quick break here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Back to action out of the timeout. Byron Burgeon in need of a run here to close the third. Bobby, another three. Good! First three of the night. Comes at a good time. Nine point deficit now for the Bees. Bizon inside trying to work his way around Pim, but missed everything underneath. An awkward angle on that shot, and he couldn't find the rim. Martin skipping it over to Pim. Into the corner now for Bobby off the dribble. Up to Pim on the wing. Find Shambry inside. Nice job against Bizon. Here come the Bees. It's down to a seven point Attica lead. Gorski for three. That's a big shot. Ten point deficit for BB. Final two minutes here in the third. Martin to Bobby now. Off the dribble. Pulls up from the corner. No good. Harding on the rebound. Another three point attempt from Gorski. No good. Bit of a heat check there. Martin collects the rebound. Now into the hands of Claire. Nearly taken away by Gorski. BB needs to get it over midcourt. Just beat the 10 second count as Pim makes the floater. Final 110 here in the third. Janes bounces it over to Bizon. He's fouled by Claire. Two seconds remaining here in the third. Foul called on Attica. It stays with the Blue Devils. This one lobbed into Bizon. Nice pass. Can't get the finish. Gets his own rebound in the putback. Three point play opportunity coming up. to Chambry on the missed free throw from Bizon. Couldn't convert the three-point play opportunity. Ten-point lead for Attica. Closing moments here in the third. Final half minute. Bizon, nice defensive play, able to create the steal, and he's fouled near the sideline.
Thomas off the dribble. Poked away by Claire. Out of bounds with five seconds on the clock. Pull up from Thomas. No good. Bobby on the rebound. We head to the fourth. It's a 10 point lead for Attica. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, beginning with our scoreboard sponsor. That is, of course, Genesee Community College. Explore careers in health and physical education. Can learn more at genesee.edu slash phys ed. Also, Robley Plumbing and Heating. One call does it all when you call Robley. You need a hot water tank replaced? You need a new toilet installed? Call Robley. They've been... Servicing the Glow Region for over 75 years and specializes in all things plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, including well systems, boilers, furnaces, hot water tanks, and more. Also, Vonglis Enterprises, LLC, a fully insured company that offers free estimates for every job. At Vonglis, they specialize in septic system installation and repairs, along with water line installation. Check them out on Facebook or call them at 471 CrazyCheapCars.com, the ultimate in price and selection. Find your next vehicle at CrazyCheapCars.com, where they carry the largest selection of over 150 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs of any dealer in the Genesee region. At Crazy Cheap Cars, they need your trade-in and pay top dollar for your trade. So give them a call at 948-8000, or better yet, we'll see you right here. Also, Zoom Total Fitness, open 24 hours, seven days a week. Fitness for all levels. Personal training, cross training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, and yoga. 24-7 access with only $35 per month in membership fees. New equipment and a super clean facility available now. So here we go to start the fourth quarter of play here at Attica. The Blue Devils lead it by 10 over the visiting Byron Virgin Bees. Harding pulls up from the top of the key and knocks it down. Good start for Attica to this fourth quarter. Pushing their lead back to 12 points. It does appear as if our connection has slowed a bit here. Hoping that resets itself. It does appear as if the video feed might be a bit choppy over these past few minutes. One of two free throws. And we'll reset our clock here as 7.15 remaining now here in the fourth. It does appear as if our connection has resolved itself. Apologies for that. Here's Martin on the steal with the bees trailing by 11. They need a rally and they need it soon. That one poked away from behind by Bison, but BB able to maintain possession. Martin into the corner for Bobby, looking for Chambry on the block, couldn't find him. Pim to Martin up top. No good, Chambry on the board and the putback. He's tough to deny down there, especially on the offensive glass. Final six and a half minutes here, nine point game. EB looking for a late surge. Attica looking to salt this one away, but a travel called on Jack James, sends it back to the Bees. Big possession here for both sides. Bees trying to work the comeback. Attica looking to maintain a sizable advantage here. This one tried to get it inside from Bobby to Chambry, but it went out of bounds off BB. Attica takes back over. Poor possession there from Byron Virgin as they turn it right over.
Harding, Harding against Bobby gets it to Gorski on the perimeter. No good. Bizon working hard inside for the offensive rebound. Puts it up and in. Three-point play opportunity coming up for Clayton Bizon. Impressive work down low for the Attica forward. Inadvertent horn there. Five forty five remaining. Remains an eleven point game. Okay. I didn't really hear any artificial noise. But nonetheless, we resume play. Five and a half minutes remaining here in the fourth. And Harding Plumbing. As a timeout called by Attica, offering plumbing, heating, and air conditioning services for residential, commercial, and agricultural customers. Since 1978, the Harding family has been in business. You can learn more at hardingplumbing.com or call 237-5561. Summit Family Dental Care, offices in Warsaw and Geneseo. That's summitfamilydentalcare.com. In Western New York Concrete, quality, ready mix concrete, poured walls, floors, foundations, driveways, insulated concrete forms, and more. Great job by the Attica cheerleaders here this evening. Keeping the crowd into it. The pump it up chant here. Great job. It's always good when the cheerleaders show up to the basketball games. Really brings the energy and brings the vibes. So Attica leading Byron Virgin by 11 here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Alex Brasky with you, five and a half minutes remaining. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock. Out of the timeout. Bizon had it knocked away inside, but it's off him, so it will stay with the Blue Devils. <laughs> Offensive foul. Looked like an illegal screen there. Called on Bizon, and that's going to be a turnover. It goes back to the Bees. Bobby off the dribble. Nice move to get himself into the lane, but couldn't get the finish. Harding in the corner, jab step. Able to work himself free, inside, off glass, no good. Martin skips it over to Bobby. Thought about the three instead, tried to force it inside to Shambry and a foul from behind with 4.39 remaining here in the fourth. Inbound goes to Shambry, initially tipped by Harding. Shambry to the rack. Feed 
Gets that ball inside that volleyball line in the paint. He's a tough guy to stop. Thomas to Gorski, now into the hands of James at the top of the key. Harding, turnaround jumper off the front iron. And a double dribble called on the bees. 413 remaining. Attica maintains possession. Inbound to Janes. Now it's inside for Harding. Tried to find Thomas cutting down the lane, but it was taken away by Martin. Chambry, Thomas tried to reach in and rip it away, but Chambry able to hold on. Now Martin has it, jumper from the elbow no good. Chambry on the rebound, flop from Harding. Chambry on the putback and a fouls call. First free throw from Chambry is good, down to an eight point Attica advantage. It's been all Attica here tonight, but BB has not gone away. Chambry two of two from the line. Seven point deficit for the Bees now as they apply a bit of full court pressure. See how Attic is able to handle it. Claire forces the turnover. Bobby comes up with the steal. Bounced in. And the jumper from Carlson cuts it to a five point deficit. Another turnover committed by the Blue Devils. Here comes Shambry in transition. Ball fake. Misses. Finish. Three-point game. Timeout Attica. 3-12 remaining. Give the Bees all the credit in the world. They've hung around, and now they make their run right at the right time. It's down to a three-point lead for Attica with 3-12 remaining in the fourth quarter. In the previous matchup between these two teams, it was Attica nearly the whole way before Byron Bergen came storming back in the final minute. The Bees perhaps trying to make their comeback a little bit earlier this time around. Saw the full court pressure defense create a bit of confusion for the Blue Devils. It's a couple of turnovers wind up in the hands of the Bees and they're able to turn it into four points and cut what was a seven point lead right down to three in a matter of moments. So timeout on the floor, this timeout brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating, LLC, 585-470-8542. One call does it all when you call Robley. Do you need a hot water tank replaced, a new toilet installed? Robley can do it all. So here we go, back to action in the fourth. Attica reeling, Harding inside, can't get the finish. They'll head to the line, we're gonna break the drought. Big miss there for Harding. We'll have one more opportunity. One of two for Cole Harding. Four point lead for Attica. Final three minutes here in the fourth. Been a slog for Byron Burgeon, but they've stayed within striking distance. 
Now looking to pounce. Claire inside. Chambry up and over the top of Bizon and Harding, and he collects the rebound over Harding and a foul on the putback. Chambry knocks down the first free throw attempt. Pim comes on for Carlson. Two for two for Braden Chambry, down to a two point Attica lead. Two and a half minutes remaining. Blue Devils looking to hang on. James had it taken away, but a foul called on the Bees. Push off there from Gorski, but no calls. No call, excuse me, from the officials. That one thrown away into the backcourt. Here come the Bees looking to tie. Martin, no good. James on the rebound initially, bouncing around and a foul inside. Called on James. That's going to send Colin Martin to the line for two shots. Chance to tie, and he makes the first. Two of two for Colin Martin. Full timeout called by the Bees. We're all square at 42. What a game here at Attica High School. This game brought to you by Genesee Community College. Are you looking to kickstart your career in health and physical education? Look no further. Then GCC, this time out, brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating. One call does it all when you call Robley, which has been servicing the Glow region for over 75 years. Robley specializes in all things plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, including well systems, boilers, furnaces, hot water tanks, and more. Also, Von Glis Enterprises, LLC, CrazyCheapCars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding's Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, and Western New York Concrete. Alex Brasky here with you on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Attica led by as many as 12 points here in the second half. But Byron Burgeon has withstood everything. Attica has thrown at them, have stormed back down the stretch, and now find themselves tied with the Blue Devils with 2.04 remaining in this Genesee Region League contest. This is a rematch from an early season matchup won by Byron Burgeon. The Bees took their first lead of the game in the final minute of that one. And it's been a late surge from BB, which has done the deed for them this time around as well. Attica set to inbound out of the timeout, 2.03 remaining. Harding at the high post. Gets it away to Thomas on the drive. Closed off, good defense from Noah Clare. Now into the hands of James. Dribbling on the wing, outlet to Thomas. Splits two defenders, nice pass to Bizon. Who gets the finish. Beautiful look from Landon Thomas, drawing the defenders and dishing it off to Bizon underneath. And Attica regains the lead. Nice pump fake from Martin. Lifts the defenders off their feet. Draws the foul, he'll head to the line for two more critical free throws.
Burton misses the first. Martin, one for two. One point game, 127 remaining. Attica with possession. This would be a disappointing defeat for Attica. And conversely, an impressive comeback for the Bees. And now, Byron Bergen with a chance to take the lead after the tie up near midcourt. 119 remaining on the clock in this one point ball game. Martin over to Bobby. To Claire, looking inside for Shambry. They get it to him. He's doubled, splits the defenders, and gets the finish. Strong move and a strong finish for Braden Shambry. And Byron Bergen has its first lead since early in this one in the first quarter. 45 to 44 on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Timeout called by Attica. We take a quick break. So as I said before, for much of this second half, it's been a 10-point lead for Attica, but over the final four minutes or so, Byron Burgeon has come storming back, and now they hold a one-point lead over the Blue Devils inside a minute remaining. Braden Chambry has been unbelievable for the Bees here tonight. Colin Martin has done his duty. Noah Clare, fantastic game defensively. Bobby hit a timely three here in the second half, and Brendan Pym has also done a nice job for BB. The starters getting it done here down the stretch. Cody Carlson off the bench also had a jumper amid this rally. Final minute of play. Harding wide open for three. Got it! Two point lead for the Blue Devils. Cole Harding, clutch as they come. Come the bees now, looking to answer. Final half minute here in the fourth. Pim on the wing, gets it up to Claire. Into the corner for Bobby. Martin with it on the wing now. He'll fire up a three, no good. Ball tipped around, Harding comes up with the rebound. Foul underneath. And that is the fourth team foul called on the bees. One more will send Attica to the line for two shots. Twenty seconds remaining. Carlson to check in for the bees. Penn will take a break. Inbound goes to Harding. Foul. That will send him to the line for two shots. Big free throws here from Harding, and he misses the first. That leaves the door open for BB here. This is a big one for Harding, looking to extend it to a three-point advantage. Harding, one of two. Final 18 seconds, and a timeout called by BB with 16 on the clock. Three-point lead for Attica, closing moments here as the Bees will look to tie it, likely with a three-pointer. What a ball game we've had here tonight. Back and forth throughout the first quarter, Attica pulled away near halftime. It was all Blue Devils up until about the final four minutes when Byron Burgeon came storming back, cut it from a 12-point deficit 
took the lead and now trail by three with 16 seconds remaining. So we'll see what BB head coach Roxanne Noweth draws up for her squad here as they need the three-pointer to tie the game. It's been a ice cold night for the Bees from the perimeter. Bobby, I believe the only three-pointer for Byron Burge in this evening, not keeping stats myself, but just trying to remember throughout the course of the game, it certainly has not been a banner evening for the Bees from beyond the arc. So here's Claire to take it out. We'll see what BB has to offer here. Chance to tie, trailing by three, final 16 seconds on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Chambry gets it inside, a foul's called away from the basket. It's gonna be two shots coming up for Chambry. And that's Bizon's fifth foul, he has been disqualified. 12 seconds remaining as the Bees decide to go inside to Chambry, and who can blame them with the ice cold shooting they put on display here. And they draw the foul, Chambry, two critical free throws here, looking to cut it to a one point game. Oh, and Chambry misses the first. That one was halfway down. Second attempt for Chambry. 0 for 2 from the line. Harding on the rebound, he's fouled. No, a jump ball. And it's gonna go to Attica. 10, oh, 10 seconds left. Another inbound for the Blue Devils. Janes collects it, he's fouled. He'll head to the line for two shots, looking to seal the deal. Two free throws here from Janes. One really would put it out of reach. As Chambry came up empty on the other end. James makes the first. That's the big one. Four point lead now for the Blue Devils. James one of two. Three ball from Bobby off the mark and that's gonna do it here from Attica High School. The Blue Devils hold on to win. Avenging their early season defeat at the hands of the Bees and improving to 12 and two on the season. Byron Bergen falls to 11 and four. Thank you for joining us on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. My name is Alex Brasky. We'll see you next time.